Many extraterrestrial civilizations have walked the face of the earth, both humanoid and non-humanoid races, and they have done so long before man ever existed. Together with mankind, they have written the history of this planet. Therefore, it is important to realize that you cannot really understand the history of mankind, nor the history of earth, until you are aware of the part that was played by these extraterrestrial civilizations. This means that you cannot understand the history of mankind if you do not know that the Homo sapiens were not a product of natural evolution, but was in fact the result of a crossbreed of genes of terrain primates and humanoid aliens. Earth was thus visited by humanoid races from Lyra, Vega, Sirius, Orion and the Pleiades and all of them established colonies on this planet. At first, only a small group of aliens settled down on Earth. Later on, however, members of the Syrian group, i.e. a group of extraterrestrials from Sirius, Orion and the Pleiades, came in far larger numbers. At a given moment in time, members of the Syrian group started needing workers to assist them in colonizing the planet. Through genetic manipulation, they created mankind by blending their own DNA with the DNA of Earth's primates and the predecessors of man, Neanderthal. From that moment on, Earth became the scene of constant disputes between mainly two groups of alien civilizations. On one hand, there are the Syrians, joined by some vegans, some renegade Pleiadians and some Orion civilizations. On the other hand, there are the Pleiadians and Lyrans, also joined by some Orion civilizations. The fights nearly always were over mankind, and on several occasions they interfered in our history. The stories of these interventions can be found in all the ancient mythologies that speak of how the gods keep on meddling in human affairs and keep having fights among each other over their interventions. Quite often these mythological stories mention snake people which usually is a reference to the Syrians whereas bird, eagle or cat people usually refer to the Lyrans or Pleiadians. The Pleiades group is an open star cluster in the constellation of Taurus, existing approximately 400 to 500 light years from Earth. There are 250 to 500 stars within the cluster. Although only 9 have been named, most ancient cultures claim 7 stars. These include China, who call them the Seven Sisters of Industry, and Greece, who refer to them as the Seven Daughters of Atlas. More than any other star system, the Pleiades have captured the attention of both the ancient and modern civilization. The Pleiades group is the home of the humanoid species. The Pleiades are most similar to Earth humans, Earth humans were supposedly created by using mainly Pleiadian DNA. The physical characteristics of the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians splintered off from the Lyran group, some used and infused with Earth genetics too, mainly Caucasian. With a lot of variety, much like on Earth, they can range from 5 feet to 7 feet. Their eyes are bigger than humans, and the tone of the colour of their eyes is different too. Many blonde or Nordic type aliens that contactees encounter come from the Pleiades, or at least that's where they claim. A number of authors also mention a Pleiadian race which looks like the Latin American Indians, Mayans, Incas etc. The Pleiadians are part of the Federation of Planets, through they are some renegade breakaway factions, Many of these joined the Draconian Empire, while others prefer to stay neutral.
So we know the Anunnaki landed in Africa, mixed DNA, and then they spread the southern hemisphere. I don't know if that was something to do with the temperature that they can't, because they have their DNA of uh, the reptilians apparently. So is this due to that? I don't know. It's, it's like the pyramids were made for a certain temperature also. So was this? Um, for something that weren't used to the temperature of Earth, you know, like a like a aquarium. But we know that the Heibairu, the Shasu, and also the Sea People attacked and uh, destroyed most of the ancient world. It seemed like they must have got to the Sinai Peninsula with all their, their army uh, and then there was nuked, like a tactical nuke if you like. So you can imagine if all our army was nuked, this would leave us with really nothing, you know, so this is I think what happened, there was a lot of army staged all over the Middle East uh, and I think the Anunnaki, there, there is a story of how I think it was Enki who hid uh, nuclear weapons in a in a cave in South Africa. Maybe this is what happened, and then they fired the eight nuclear weapons, destroyed the uh, Heibairu armies, all their armaments. You can imagine um, if if this happened to the U.S. or anything like that, um, it'd leave your population totally open to invasion. Pleiadians escaped to North India to become the Bahrain. Also, we know that the um, Heibairu went to Japan. We know the story of the Sky People in Southern America, the Fairy People in New Zealand. This didn't happen in the time frame, but I'm just showing you how how Europe was taken. So that the Muslims invaded Spain, took over Spain. The Romans invaded Italy, took over most of Europe. Persians invaded Greece. The Mongolians invaded from the east, teamed up with the Kazakhs and the Huns. All of Europe was lost. This is in the time frame of the Romans, uh, the Huns, the Mongolians. This is when the Romans took Britain. And then 
this is the time frame of the barbarians. Now at this point, it's to note that everyone had mixed blood now, because well, apart from the Scottish, the Welsh, um, the Irish, the Norse peoples, but everyone in, in mainland Europe was mixed blood now, Anunnaki and Pleiadian. So really they had no ball in the game anymore. It's like, um, I think when the Anunnaki took over a country, they'd, they'd make all the top people in that country marry into their royal families. You see that a lot now today. So what this does is this puts, um, if you like, if you can imagine um, marrying into to um, the Illuminati, if you like, then you have children, so you're defending your children even though you're defending that Illuminati, you know, in a way. So this is what happened. Uh, a lot of the blood was mixed, um, like in Rome and Greece, there was a lot of rape going on, I can imagine, in Spain. So these people have mixed blood, so the, the, um, they don't really have a side then to choose, you know, they, they can choose either side, if you like. This is where the barbarians started taking back over Europe. The Norse people, the Vikings inv invaded England. The, um, the Romans had to evacuate. And then the barbarians took Rome. We have the Spanish invasion, also the French. Um, the French invasion, both of them tried to invade Britain and failed. S and then... Uh, after Napoleon and France fell. Something to note as well, um, Napoleon's wife did think she was a reincarnation of Isis. Um, now, is reincarnation just a different way of saying cloning? So, it's very strange. You need to look into the cloning and um, people about talking about reincarnation. It's very strange. So then once Europe was nearly totally taken back, uh, this is when the Crusades happened. So you had the United Europe to go to Jerusalem. Also they spread Christianity throughout Russia. Well, this is how we ended up, um, just before the British Empire. And then the British spread out, also the, well, the Spanish and British spread, started building empires. The Norse spread to Greenland and Iceland. The British went to America, North America, the Spanish went to South America and um, this is when Africa was colonized this is when the British Empire took the Middle East and the British also went to to India and Australia so the Kazakhs fell in 1000 AD and this must have been a new plan by the Anunnaki. Uh, they must have thought we can't defeat them with armies, so they started going more, if you like, bribing people, um, bribing leaders of countries, uh, mixing up the history. Um, they, they probably went to, they probably instigated the church, you know, to change history, um, infiltrated different religions. They probably infiltrated the church to change uh, history, so uh, no one knew what was going on. We didn't know our enemies. We don't. We didn't know what was who we was fighting. Uh, we forgot our history. It also sounds like what Donald Marshall was saying about the um, proboscis taking over the human. Uh, we see this in in other animals, so I can see it's possible. So it's strange, but Europe seems to just 
like I say, they had mixed blood, so I think like the Queen, like the Queen of England, can trace her blood back to Mohammed. So I mean, everything's mixed nowadays, and I think they did this to to keep peace. And we will continue, uh, but this is it for part one. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you very much.